How's it going everybody? It is your boy Max here and welcome everybody to vlog number 8 on my Vancouver BC trip. I didn't do my intro yesterday and when I edited the vlog I was just like Hey guys, but I edited it at like 1.30 in the morning So I wasn't gonna redo it But uh, we're back with the proper intro. All right, what's the plan for today? Well, we're gonna go over to Metro Town um, in Burnaby, I had actually passed by it when I went over to Port Moody a couple days ago when you guys remember that. Um, <clears throat> on the way back, I ended up passing it. I'm like, oh, I might stop there, but it was already like 6 o'clock by the time I had passed, so I didn't like want to do it then. But I did some research, and it is apparently the fifth biggest mall in all of Canada. First place is the West Edmonton Mall in Edmonton, Alberta, and then Square One in Mississauga, Yorkdale in Toronto, and then the Scarborough Centre in Scarborough, Ontario. So the second, third, and fourth biggest are all in Ontario. So outside of Ontario, this mall is the second biggest in all of Canada. So that's pretty cool. And I didn't know that. Everybody was just telling me um, to go to Metro Town. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll look up how big it is. And it's actually pretty big. It's got like three floors and shit. So we'll go take a look and we'll go have some fun over there. Um, I got to go all the way to Waterfront again and then take the expo line all the way down. Um, and then one of the stops is actually right at the mall itself. So it works pretty good. Alrighty, uh, I'm currently up in Metro Town, and it's very nice with these skylights. About to cop some food. There's a ton of options in this food court, so uh, I'm gonna get something, and then I'll show you guys what I get. We got the uh, the fried chicken that comes from Kentucky, otherwise known as K to the F to the C. Um, it's pretty good. I haven't had KFC in a while, um, so that's pretty yummy. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> and that's the only update I have so far. All right, hello, we're back. Um, food was pretty good. I noticed something here in the food courts and malls and stuff like that. The garbage cans aren't like readily available for people. Um, you have to like put it on a counter where like with your tray and stuff. I don't know, it's weird. For the first time ever, somebody actually recognized me. Um, I'm not too sure if he watches the YouTube videos, but he just saw one of my TikToks. Um, he actually has seen a few of them. He So for the first time like ever, uh, somebody recognized me because of my TikToks, which is the coolest thing ever. Um, shout out to you if you're watching the YouTube video. Um, but yeah, he said he watches my TikToks and he recognized me and then ran into another guy in the same store. It was a sports store. They... Uh, they have a TikTok too, so we exchange TikToks. Coolest experience. Shout out to all you guys, man. You're the best. I never had a lot when he was much younger. He was a nightwear. Yeah, but then he must have retired. It's been a while. All right, I just went in the sports store, pastime sports, really amazing sports store. Tons of uh, tons of signed stuff, which is really cool. I don't want to film in there because like it's a really small space, and but I did cop some hockey cards. I got a. I got a pack of hockey cards. So we'll do some pack openings on the vlog and we'll do some on TikTok as well. So stay tuned for that. Hello, back again. Currently at the mall, still at the mall. Um, I'm at Winners right now though. Um, figured here would be a good place to try to find a bracelet of some sort. So I'll let you know what I find, if anything, probably won't, but I finally found some. They are like black and blue. Shout out to the, the guys in the group chat. Jack, James, and Riley all told me to get these ones. Um, I already tried them on my wrist. They fit perfectly. Um, they are the ones where I feel like if you accidentally like are too aggressive with them, they could break. But the 20 bucks, regular 30, I, th I think I got a cop. Um, I'm going to walk around. Maybe I'll find some more stuff. But uh, this is a dub. This is a W. All right, I bought them, but my dumbass didn't realize that I was supposed to pay at the jewelry spot. I was going, like, I was waiting in the regular line, which was hella long, by the way. And then the person who was, like, running the jewelry section was like, oh, you're supposed to pay for it back there. I'm like, well, I had no idea. She at first tried to blame me, but then when she realized, like, hey, no, that's not her job, and I looked around, there's no sign that's telling me to purchase it there. So I, I did nothing wrong. I'm not complaining, though, because I was able to pay right away instead of having to wait behind, like, 12 people. So that worked. Um, but they just announced that the sport store is going to be closing pretty soon, so I gotta head out. Um, I honestly really like this mall. It's it's kind of set up in a weird way. Um, like hallways will go down, and you'll look down the hallway. Like for this instance, there's an old navy, but turning down right here to the hallway, you, you think, oh, 
there's nothing left. It's just the old navy. But there's a whole other hallway down this way that's just like you come down this way and you don't see it. So you actually, it makes you walk that way, but you could also miss a lot as well. So, and you could tell as well because some of those stores back there are completely empty when there's a lot of foot traffic. It's people are thinking the same thing. I do really like this skylight that's at the top. Brings in a lot of natural light and on a nice day like this, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. All right, so I don't know if I want to, uh, sorry for the loud noise, I'm on the sky train. I don't know if I want to uh, just one on um, or both. So like, this is with just one on. I think I, I think I like this a bit better, just having the one, one bracelet on at a time. Uh, this, it's like blue, black, and this one's like more black. So I don't know, we can mix it up and uh, I dig it, I dig it. Another day. Another sports bar, going to, well not sports bar, another bar. Uh, going to Steamworks today. Let you guys know how it is and what I get, like the usual. But first, some sick saxophone playing. What a fucking goat. What a legend. Changed my mind. Going to a different one. I'll show you what one. All right, we have the place we're going to the shark club um so yeah we are actually pretty close to the uh bc place um uh, which is where the bc lions play um yep furs all right what's up it's about quarter after 10 at night, just leaving the bar. Uh, best experience, I'm gonna give it a 12 out of 10. By far the best uh, bar I've been to, the Star Club. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Sorry, I'm just trying not to get hit by a fucking car. Um, I had three beers, amazing. The burger was fantastic. The server was a Bruins fan. His name was Josh. Josh, shout out to you. You probably don't even know who I am, but a very, very, great bar very chill people uh, highly highly recommend it uh, it's on west georgia if you guys want to check it out if you're in van not to mention the screens that they had for the sports were huge they were absolutely massive um, if you wanted to put something on they were very understanding and they did it really cool people highly highly recommend it best bar experience here and the other ones were fantastic too so that's saying a lot also in regards to the bracelet as you can see it's not falling down my wrist i tied it and then like uh, just kind of tightened it around in the circle and then put it under my wrist. It works a lot better and you know, you can't see like the underneath of my wrist when I'm walking. Much, much better, stays on my wrist, but it's not too tight. It's perfect, because before it was kind of loose and it was sliding down my forearm and stuff and it was kind of pissing me off. Uh, but I, I, I fuck with this one, so we got it. But yeah, this, uh, this bracelet and the other one that I got, because there were two of them, um, it's gonna be important to me because this, this trip's pretty important to me. Uh, not just because like, I'm in Vancouver, but it shows I could do things independently. I could do things by myself. I can, you know, explore and be an adult. And I know to a lot of you that's like, Max, that's fucking corny as shit. And you're right, it is. But I'm, uh, I don't know, feels good. And I feel like this is a big moment in my life. And I'm glad y'all are with me. Maybe I get sentimental when I'm, when I'm drunk. I think I do. Shut up. So I know it's pitch black outside right now. But there are like three, I think, raccoons that are out this outside right by where I walk and it's creepy as fuck I have never actually seen raccoons in person before I thought they were stray cats at first but then I got closer and once the light shined on them I could see the like their black thing over their eyes it's pretty weird I guess they are nocturnal so they just chill at night but hmm, that's weird I am back I was gonna end the vlog for you guys but I did say I would open a pack or two of the cards, so let's do that. All right, I already pre-opened this pack, so let's get right into it. Starting off, we got an Alexander Nylander, Nick Schmaltz, oh god, Logan Couture, a U, no, Canva, UD Canvas, Tomas Hurdle which is not too, too bad. We've got an Elias Pedersen, which is pretty dope. A Nicholas Backstrom and a Valerie Natushkin. All right, we'll do one more pack here. Pre-opened it, let's go. 
Got a Brad Marchand to start things off. Got an Anton Strawman who was actually just traded to the Arizona Coyotes today. Got a Brady Kachuk, that's kind of clean. Got a Young Guns, Ian Mitchell. It's a solid, decent little piece there. Jesperi Kotkaniemi. A Nico Hiche. And a Leon Dreisaitl. If you want to see the other pack openings, I'm going to do all of them right now and then post them on TikTok later. Um, make sure to go follow the TikTok. Link is in the bio. Um, if you guys did enjoy this vlog, make sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I love each and every one of you. Peace.